how to make this cut for an audience, for people that I've never met, for a country I, I've never been in. Um, so in my brief correspondences with Pela, he was saying that um, it might be nice, for instance, to show something that's absolutely new, or even that's not even quite finished yet. So I thought I would bring something really that I'm in the midst of working on. It's a movie that brings together two, two different um, moments of time. This moment of the present, and, um, and then these early images of the woman who's speaking on the soundtrack. And the film exists as a kind of acoustic mirror. Um, so it offers her an image of herself as a, um, as a very young child. Um, she's in the Ohio Developmental Center. She's in a psychiatric hospital. And unlike the image that I would have, for instance, of such a place, it's not um, strict, it's not terrifying, it's not awful. And everyone is allowed their, the space to have their own experience. And so she's reflecting across this enormity of time um, to find a way to bring together these two kinds of time. I had a retrospective at the Anthology Film Archives in New York, and they showed, um, I showed public lighting there, but their projectors are too good, like they're too new. And so they're, what they want to be um, fed are these um, beautiful, large, new digital signals. But public lighting was made at an earlier moment in the history of video. Um, and so it's, it's still analog video, it's still videotape. In fact, now I think it's hardly even possible to speak of video. Now there's only digital files. So I thought I would recreate public lighting as a digital movie, which meant digging back into it, completely remaking two of its seven sections. Um, and of course, then it gave me the, the possibility to return to uh, other moments. It's a series of portraits which look at the, at, the, at the way we create portraits, the way that we make um, biographies out of the people that are around us.